Hey guys, this is the My Gang Stalking Introduction video. Uh, I recorded a couple days ago my first YouTube video about the directed message to me uh, that's been sent to me, among other insults and accusations um, about narcissistic intro. In being a narcissistic introvert and I that's the first video I, I, I actually posted I have recorded a gang stalking introduction video before um, but um, wasn't able to post it so this is my technically my first one it's September 7th 2020 and I'm gonna just have to warn you guys ahead of time that I have a habit of kind of jumping around digressing ranting so I'm going to warn you ahead of time. Um, this is really for me uh, more than anything <clears throat> to set the record straight. Just to, just to having it recorded is comforts me. Um, and there are far more informative, organized uh, gang stalking videos out there uh, for the layperson who probably will never see this anyway or hear this anyway. Um, or if they do hear this, it's going to be chopped up and 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 not in the format my original format it'll make it it'll make me seem crazy that's essentially what any version how any version of this would ever get out um but <clears throat> this is for the layperson everything i'm going to say in this video is going to sound crazy um if i had heard this last year before new, um, november 2019 i would think the person was out of their mind crazy nuts so so those those are sort of the um, things I wanted to say before I jump right in but um, this is gonna be a long video I'm gonna break it up if it gets um, you know every 30 minutes maybe I'll break it up and number them gang stalking intro one two three four however many they go but this is gonna be quite long uh, I meant to do this as I was going along but they're uh, you know their technology whatever their technology is prevents you from uh, doing things and so um, I'm finally here doing it now because I think we're at the end of the road um, essentially I'm gonna be making sharing my journey with gang stalking a lot of the terms that I'm gonna be using I'm not going to explain in depth because if you google them you can you can find information on it um, another caveat, once you do Google these items that I'm talking about, these terms, these crazy sounding terms, you might come across, no, you not might, your search results will um, result in finding uh, websites, people, reputable articles like New York Times and, you know, that show on YouTube called Vice, uh, just all of them will label targeted individuals like myself as crazy. They will label us as schizophrenic, mentally challenged, what have you. And in addition to that, the people that are in the search results when you type in targeted individual or gang stalking will look nothing like what real targeted individuals are like. I'm sure there are some targeted individuals that look like the ones you find when you search. Um, disheveled, um, poor grammar, poor articulation. They look themselves like they're homeless or just some kind of weird physical appearance that when you immediately look upon that targeted individual, you, 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 you think nutty, just kind of mentally challenged, have some sort of mental issue. Uh, schizophrenia is what we're usually uh, accused of, of having. Remember that when you get when you see those videos, they are not the typical targeted individual. The typical targeted individual varies, but um, it, it's um, it, generally speaking, what's on what exists in the media is not what most targeted individuals look like. Uh, most targeted individuals are intelligent, um, have high intelligence. Um, they could be someone unlike me where they have a PhD, you know, in a particular field. Um, perhaps they are researching or, you know, working on something that the government wants to um, hide. It, it, there's so many scenarios. There's people like me who I think for me, um, since I think that this gang stalking has been happening to my entire family, my sister, my father, 
Um, I think it has some something to do with the fact that he was in the military. Um, a lot of targeted individuals and a lot of the directed media I have received have have uh, alluded to the fact that people that are in the military or or in, in some sort of you know field such as that are targeted um, because they're property. You know, military is considered property of the government. We're all considered actually property of the government. But how this video is going to go is I'm going to try to go in chronological order since I saw the overt signs of gang stalking that began in uh, last year, uh, November 2019. And then there will be a lot of digression. When, if I hit a certain topic, I'll maybe talk about that for a little bit and then go back to try to go back to the chronological style. But uh, essentially, everything that I'm sharing with you is a fact. It's not in my head. Um, I've never been diagnosed um, with any kind of mental illness that includes schizophrenia, um, it, it includes depression, bipolar, um, I've not, I, nothing like that. I've never taken any medication except for the occasional Ambien, um, and which I haven't taken for quite some time now, um, and it was sporadic before. I do not have an alcohol, alcohol problem, drug problem, I have no problems with addiction, um, I'm college educated, UC Berkeley, um, I'm as normal as they come. Um, we're all abnormal, but normal as they come, meaning I don't have any delusions that um, things exist when they don't, uh, to, to some degree. We all are deluded to some degree, right? So at some point it becomes unhealthy. So uh, it, this is going to be an introduction video that chron um, it's chronological from last year. And the gang stalking in, in and of itself is just uh ma it's just a gigantic topic to tackle because there's so much there's so much that they do to you there's so much that's happened it's it's a lifetime of torture and sabotage and um and the the ideas and the um phenomenon are so out there there it it is like a fantasy science fiction movie but the difference is this happens, it exists, it's a lot of the, most of the phenomenon that I'm covering today uh, takes place and has been taking place in the world and especially in the United, the terrorist USA for decades. Um, and the reason why is because the, the military industrial complex is hiding uh, classified technology um, from the American public and has been since I don't know when exactly but from all of the directed media that I've been getting directed messages social media messages the people that I've been interacting with which are what targeted individuals call perpetrators or perp for short have been you know saying these things to me about um, classified technology not only that the fact that they have been sharing this information does just because they're sharing this information doesn't make it true I have encountered them personally if I have not encountered encountered it personally then I will mention it or um, I make some mention of it I am an atheist I'm a critical thinker I'm skeptical I don't believe in something unless I see some evidence for it um, and an, last well Another kind of tactic they use is they, um, well, they have technology to make you believe in certain things, believe it or not. And I'll get into that later with some uh, Google patents that you can look up. Hopefully, hopefully they're still there once, if anybody comes upon this message. Um, but they can do that to you. So they'll, they'll try to trick you and manipulate you. This is what they're all about. Uh, tricking, manipulating. Um, they are the most debased, repugnant, subhuman, insecure, coward, coward, uh, cowards. Uh, they're also psychopaths. I, like think Ted Bundy, um, Jeffrey Dahmer, um, worse like Charles Manson, but with, uh, you know, Star Trek, Star Wars, even beyond kind of technology. Um, that's think of that. Just think of like Ted Bundy with all of the technology that I'm going to go over today um, in these videos. Uh, it, it, it's like a disaster. It would be a disaster with with that kind of ability for good people, for good humankind. And, and that's why the world looks like the way it does. It really is completely 100% all of their fault. Uh, there's no way I can cover that. This is just going to be an introduction video. And um, But uh, everything, that, all the negative things you see in the world, the negative state of affairs is because of these people. So I'm going to 
now I'm going to get going. When I say these people, now um, everything that I'm not sure about, to some degree I'll try to preface the uh, claims I'm making with that kind of a statement. I'll always say I'm not sure, I, but you know, just know that um, if you were in my shoes and had been going through this and seeing what I see, especially with my mind, um, I'm just saying that you you know, try to suspend belief when I say these things, because it, I know it sounds crazy and you're going to think I'm crazy no matter what, but, um, you know, it's, it, 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 that's the whole, that's where they get their power is they hide in the dark like cockroaches. Um, they are cockroaches. So when I say they, um, I mean white people. Uh, I know that sounds just, I know everything I'm going to say sounds crazy. So white people, when I say white people, you know how in media you always see white America or white males, um, you know, who runs this country, white people, like, that's actually 100% true. It's not like this is not written about in popular media or newspapers. It, it's mentioned in pop culture as a, some, sometimes it's a joke, sometimes it's sarcastically. It, it's, it's kind of like this known that white males run this country. Well, they do, and they run it more uh, comprehensively than you can imagine. They're racist, they're anachronistic in their thinking, they're highly psychopathic, highly chauvinistic, highly misogynistic, um, and in my opinion, and I'll be going through going through this, this, this thought and feeling, in my opinion, as the video goes on, people who are psychopathic, sociopathic, and malignant narcissists, be, by by just the fact that they are those things, they have quite uh, uh, impaired judgment. So one way to think about it is Donald Trump, you know, our president right now. Uh, some people, well, many people have differing opinions, especially right now. You know, it's shockingly, for, it seems like 49%, which I don't believe in that statistic, actually. 49%, half of the country want him to be president and the other half don't. I think that's a lie. I think less than that um, are behind him, but that they, T-H-E-Y, don't want you to believe that. Um, and a little bit of the digressing here is because they try to get me to support him and vote for him and uh, through their ma manipulation tactic tactics and it did not work. Anyways, so they are white people and they are, um, they're just repugnant. And not all white people. I've had dealings very few, far and few and far between, where I've met um, white people who are genuinely compassionate, empathetic towards other minorities, you know, other um, cultures. And really, I'm thinking of a teacher actually that I had um, who really wanted the class to understand that it's not as black and white, no pun intended, where, um, say, African Americans or Black people are the way that they are, you know, or Asians are the way that they are, or Hispanics are the way that they are. Um, and what I mean by are the way that they are is I had a um, an acquaintance who was an older white male. Of course, it's usually white males. White people usually do it, say these things and think this way. Um, who said to me, "What's wrong with Black people? Why can't they pull them up themselves up by their bootstraps?" I mean, slavery was 400 years away, uh, years ago, and um, and I remember I was really young when this person said this to me, and I was mortified. I was just like, "What is wrong with this person? He's so racist." Um, and that's that's kind of a typical that's a kind of typical experience I've had with white people, just so lacking frame of reference, lacking a, a, a sort of intellect where uh, they cannot compute in the same way that empath empathetic, sympathetic people with compassion have, okay? Um, I've seen it my entire life since I um, was going to school as a young child in the South where it was just constant racism. You know, the kids, our kids are mean, right? But the kids learn from their parents. If I was uh, white, let's say I just immediately was white right now and had a white child, I would raise that child to be kind to everybody just because they're different. And the black skin, Asian eyes, you know, speaking Spanish, eating, Sp like I would, I would make sure to raise that child not to make fun of other people because of differences. So this, this is a white phenomenon. I don't, and I'm not going to be PC in this video at 
effing all. So you can go screw yourself if you're being offended by this. Um, but so, and of course, I always want to mention that this is my experience, right? So your experience might be different from mine. Clearly, that's the whole point of individuality. But when I say they, I mean white people. So, and it's not just my, uh, the reason why I have come to this conclusion, because I did not think this way about white people before the gang stalking, cyber stalking, harassment, whatever you want to call it. For the sake of this video, I'll call it mostly gang stalking, right? Because that's the, 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 the buzzword. Um, they are behind us here in the United States. Um, they're the ones that have been, um, I've had them tell me to my face that they're gang stalking me. They might not use that word, but they have told me that they are doing this to me on multiple occasions. And their minions have told me that they are doing this to me. So this is not just in my head. In the very beginning of uh, my overt, remember, overt gang stalking, um, I was driving for Lyft. Um, and I was driving for Lyft because I lost my job because they have put all these um, actions into place you know, sort of like domino effect to get me to the point where I lost all my assets, had run up my credit. Um, they basically, gang stalking, I'm sure you've probably paused the video and already Googled it, but they destroy your life. And it's similar to the Stasi program in Germany, if you Google Stasi, S-T-A-S-I, uh, or COINTELPRO, which was in the United States many years ago, um, decades ago. It, COINTELPRO, just went underground and and has never gone away and um, this is not a democratic country the world is not free and um, you are property literally I'm not I'm talking literally here you are property of the United States and um, they can do whatever they want to you now you have no rights whatsoever and what they're doing to me right now which is terrorizing me destroying me murdering they murder TIs essentially they're murderers is legal they can get away with whatever they want um, torture uh, and and everything that falls under torture. So that's the kind of like an introduction. I'll be going and digressing as I move on. But when I say they, I mean white people are behind this in the states because you know the states is mostly owned, run by white males, and they're disgusting. Um, this happens in other countries too, um, but as they so like to brag. Uh, America sets the tone and everybody follows. At least that's what they say. Um, just know that the U.S. is a terrorist country. It's a terrorist bully country run by insecure, fearful white men. That's basically it. Um, and they are psychopathic. But essentially back in, in uh, November 2019, the gang stalking began with street theater. So that's just another buzzword used by, that they have come up with, not me. I'm using it so you can Google it and look it up. Uh, but essentially street theater is uh, people carrying out different kind of acts in front of you. Um, it could be anything. My, I remember the first one was people acting out in my car when I was driving them around in Lyft and it wasn't normal meaning they were all talking at the same time. One was like kick, kick, kicking and punching the back of my seat. They were talking loud and they, they were acting like crazy people, but they weren't crazy people. Um, and that was the first time I realized something's not right. And um, so street theater, if you Google it, I, again, I'm not gonna touch much on it. I might bring up a, an example every, here and there during this um, introduction video series. But these are people who are, um, the most, um, I don't know how, so many, it's just even now I'm stuck trying to describe them. The most disgusting pieces of like crap, pieces of crap that you will, that are, that exist in the world today. Um, they are uh, paid. Um, they probably had to, of course, sign something that says that they were going to be a part of this network. There is a network of these people all over the U.S. Um, I don't know if it'll come up, but if you Google role player or um, surveillance role player or something like that, that's something that you wouldn't know to Google, but then the directed media that sent to us, directed messages that are sent to us, they, they, uh, they send us to different pieces of information that 
teaches us what's happening to us in the beginning. So, and what I mean directed messages or directed media, um, they have, the technology is so advanced that they can communicate with you, not just by social media and sending you messages, which is which have been done on Twitter, of course, um, and Facebook, but they can, as strange as it may sound, uh, go with me here, they can send you messages, they can send you, d direct you to websites, to movies, to TV shows, they want you to watch and send you messages through that TV show or media, whether indirectly or directly. And I, I might get into some of those um, examples, uh, but uh, you know, they, they sometimes create series, uh, television series um, and uh, movies and for you, for the targeted individual. Um, how do I know this? It, it, it happens so consistently and so much and so specifically that, uh, and not to mention was told to me that it, ha it happens by perps, perpetrators, that it's, it's beyond uh, coincidence. So in November, the street theater started happening and um, um, of course the car harassment following started happening. Now this is something that happens all the time now and I have evidence of it. Um, I have seen, heard mention of this uh, once on a reality show. It's called, I know you're going to laugh at this, but it was a, re well, it was a reality show and there was this couple that were um, educating the public on how to fight um, EM electromagnetic waves and how to fight uh, 5G and other technology that is um, set up systematically in our infrastructure to hurt us. Crazy, right? It's conspiracy theory sounding alike, but it's absolutely 100% true. And so they mention on this reality show that they're followed now. Well, that's called gang stalking or cyber stalking or harassment by our government. And it happens more than you would like to think. And it happens to people who, um, was that one adage, the nail that sticks out gets hammered down. Any, anything that would be a threat to them, anybody that brings attention to them, they want to stay quiet, sort of like, um, I'm just going to use these movie references because it sounds so out there. The best way I can like form an image in your mind and 80% of people are, are visual is to mention movie references, okay? Hopefully it'll help. Maybe it'll annoy. I don't care. Um, but in the movie Twilight, there's the, um, the um, you know, the Volturi who, where um, the main character, the guy who loves the other girl says like, they'll kill anybody that brings attention to them and that the Volturi hate people. They have no respect for human life and um, they've been around forever and they're a secret society. Essentially, that is the same thing as our government and the secret societies that work within our world. Believe it or not, I don't like using that word secret society, it, 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 but it is, there are secret societies. If you were to Google, and other gang stalking videos are much better at this than I am probably, um, you would find dozens and dozens and dozens of secret societies. You just have to Google them. One is called the Boule Society. I bet you never heard of that. B-O-U-L-E. Um, there's um, the uh, Freemasons. They exist. They say that they're not doing anything uh, shady. They say they're not doing anything um, illegal, but they are completely illegal. They are the most, they are immoral, disgusting um, men. And one movie that comes to mind about, that makes reference to Freemasons and the Lodge is called Festin. It's a Dutch movie, F-E-S-T-E-N. Um, and the main character in that movie, the son, says how his father, who's a Freemason, used to take him and his sister when they were little kids and rape them um, every day, pretty much. Um, morning, noon, and night sometimes. And just, and so when I mention these examples, um, and your mind is going to be over overloaded without a doubt because this is like uh, it's like a snowflake right it starts off with one little crystalline path and then it breaks off into this huge snowflake with all these intricate paths and that branch off to other intricate paths that's what gang stalking is it is essentially that there's no way you can comp in depth in explain all of this phenomena in depth and comprehensively it just isn't so um, I'm just gonna have to touch on some of these things and move on but the Freemasons are one secret society. Um, I can't think of any other right now, but and, and but I, I know I Googled one and there's tons of them, dozens of them. 
Um, you just have to Google. Hopefully they show up for you when they Google. I might think of it and, and, and write it down. I'll write it down right now and, and include it in, you know, other videos or this, another, the second part of this introduction video. But, um, so that, that is what they are. It's a government is involved and it's not just one faction, you know, the Department of Homeland Security, FISA, F-I-S-A, um, the FBI, the CIA. This FBI and CIA, by the way, are terrorist organizations. And I mean this. Everything you've heard about the CIA uh, being involved with drugs, drug smuggling. I mean, um, Sicario kind of alludes to that in that movie. It's a movie, I know, but it's called Directed Media, Predictive Programming. Look all these up. These are terms that will explain this to you. It's true. The CIA is, you know, remember, I don't know, well, actually many of you probably don't remember, back in the 80s um, when Reagan was in office, there was that general, I forget what his name was, but he was um, on trial for smuggling guns to um, the Iran-Contra affair or something like that. Well, that stuff happens um, even today with, you know, the Middle East, in the Middle East, how we, uh, there was the accusation how we funded the I ISIS or how we trained um, them how to be terrorists. That was the U.S. Um, the U.S. is a terrorist organization. It is a business. The, it, the country itself is a business. It's not a country. And um, it's full of people who are greedy. And just, again, Todd Bundy, Richard Dahmer, Charles Mason. Think of that level of psychopathy and no empathy. Um, but add into that uh, recipe an un like unbelievable amount of insecurity, fear, um, the most ego you can possibly imagine, the most narcissistic, ma malignant person, the m and this especially, greedy beyond your imagining, greedy beyond your imagining. Just every bad quality you can think of in spades is what these white people have, these white people in charge. Um, it's it's beyond imagining. And when I say beyond imagining, it's because I'm an uh, empath and I'm have empath I'm very empathetic and sympathetic. I'm a good person. So of course, to me, it, even today, like sometimes I think about it and it blows my mind how disgusting and repugnant these things are. I don't like calling them humans. I like calling them subhumans or I call them maggots because they're, I don't mean that to be because I'm bitter or angry. There is some of that, but they are not human. They're not like you and me. If you watch a commercial or a movie and you see something happening to a character that happened in your life that was painful and you see them cry, you have mirror neurons in your mind and, your, and, and you hurt. You can understand what that person's feeling. And you know, on a spectrum of one to 10 of empathy, you should be like a seven or an eight or a nine if you're very empathetic. Um, and you, you, you can feel, you can literally feel what the other person is feeling if you have similar occurrences. Um, a lot of empaths, they say, even if you haven't had the same painful experience, you, they can, like an empath can feel what the other person is feeling. And it, it's um, very sensitive. And part of me thinks that I'm, I'm, I'm sensitive in that fashion. I don't think I'm like a, a 10 on that, but I'm high on the scale of being empathic. So these people don't have that. They don't, they're like a one or a zero. They don't care about you. Think of Michael Jackson's song. Um, I forget the name of it, but it was not popularized because he said kike in that song. It's um, one of the, I think the, one of the lyrics in the, in the song is they don't, they don't care about us. Um, God, he filmed the music video um, in Brazil. I think it was Brazil. The music video was filmed. I'm going to um, uh, Google it, right? They don't care about us. If you, actually, if you just Google that, they don't care about us, Michael Jackson, the song will come up. And um, yeah, it'll come up. It'll say Michael Jackson, they don't care about us. Uh, Michael Jackson, they don't care about us, Brazil version. Um, skinhead, deadhead, everybody gone bad, trepidation, speculation. And he says kike. And basically who he's talking about are the white people. And according to the white people who are gang stalking me, it's the Jews. So I don't know about that. I, 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 I'm... You know, they, the white people that are gang stalking me send me a lot of anti-Semitic stuff. That Jews are horrible. They're behind all of this. Blah blah blah. I mean, I could go on for hours talking about what they've sent me. They sent me a video about Hitler called Europa, E U R O P A, um, that discusses how Hitler was a good guy. I kid you not, a good guy 
who was made out to look horrible by the Jews when he was actually just trying to create their own banking system and the um, New World Order, <laughs> yes, you got it, the New World Order wouldn't have it. And so they decided to destroy Germany along with, um, I forget his name, I'm terrible with names, but along with the president at that time who wanted to crush Germany. So that Europa, I think is it was a 12 hour video and it's not on YouTube, it's on um, BitChute. Uh, BitChute is apparently this place where you can upload things that YouTube won't and nobody goes to BitChute unless you're led to BitChute. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. So all of this to say, um, it's the white people behind this and I have um, them who have gang stalked, me, gang stalked me to my face telling me that they're doing this to me, who have um, threatened me, um, who have in certain scenarios um, you know, revealed themselves to me. For instance, I took in my car to this place, it's a smog place that I was quote unquote led to by their technology. I will get into the technology. Um, but when I got there, um, after I he fixed my car, and if you think about your own experience when you go to your mechanic or a mechanic, um, I took my car in, there was a problem that said, you know, um, search and en see engine light was on or something. And I gave, I paid him $500 and he said he could fix it. And then I came back the next day and he said, oh, there's still a problem. You're gonna have to drive it around a little bit because some bu they always give you some bullshit reason to el elongate your torture if they feel like you deserve it. So then, um, you know, I, I drove it around, I came back. Nope, still couldn't fix it. I've done it like three or four times. The last time I came, I'm like, I really, you know, I know what's going on here. And I said, and he was a white guy. And, and these are typically white people who are um, the minions, especially. I mean, most of them, actually most of them. They're not, they're not very intelligent. They're blue collar workers, um, uh, most of them. And they all have a similar vibe, style, about them. They have a coldness. They have a detached sense of communicating. They have a smugness, some of them. They have, um, you can sense it when you're around them. And unless you are an empath, highly sensitive, where you pick up on even micro expressions, body language, you pick up on that stuff like it's, it's second nature to you. You won't know what I'm talking to you about, but um, they, it's similar. You know, some of them more than others. Some of them I can't stand being around because the, the vibe that comes off of them is so dark, disgusting, pathetic. Um, it, it, it's hard to explain. And um, and so, he, you know, as I said, when I brought my car in, finally I came in like the fourth time and I said, I really like my car fixed. And he's like, he looked at me and he said, well, it depends. I don't know exactly what he said, but he looks like, I hope so too. Well, it depends. Um, we'll see. And those, that's one scenario where um, that's, you know, where the white guy who's kind of like one of the plebs or one of the people in the network is telling me that he doesn't know if he's going to do that for me because he doesn't know if he's allowed to. Um, he'll have to see. Now you take that one instance, right? This one scenario where you're taking the car and you're going back and forth, back and forth to fix it. And he says, he'll see, he's, he doesn't, not giving you a, a, a real reason as to what's, what's wrong with your car. And you multiply that with every interaction that you have, whether it be a delivery service, whether it be an Uber, whether it be the cashier at the store that you go to, whether it be your teacher, whether it be your family, multiply that. Every interaction you have is um, pugilistic, it's belligerent, it's confrontational, it's a negative, it's, um, it's, it's you know it's just blocking you from getting anything done in an efficient manner it's there to annoy you it's there to hurt you to uh, complicate your life to um so that's what that's one faction one part um one you know part of gang stalking so that's them and that and i kind of digress to describe a scenario where um when i say it's white people I'll give you an example one example of how it is there's many more uh where i had a uh, a white person tell me that directly that um uh uh this is not it your your book the book is not closed on you yet Meaning, you know, in the very beginning, in November of 2019, when I was learning about gang stalking and, and in pure shock, I was in, in pure shock until about March, the end of March of 2020. And because um, it's just this ongoing process of unfolding of the gang stalking process, and it goes on and on and on. And but back then, 
um, someone told me, I thought, I mean, what I learned on Twitter when I was on Twitter, and my Twitter profile is Actum for life, A A C T U M, action in Latin, and then I think the letter four, and then life, L I F E. And um, you can see the actual, the, um, the evolution of the tweets. I'm very angry and I'm still angry today, but um, you can, you can see everything that's happening and what I'm thinking and why I'm reacting. But essentially um, it, back in 2019 uh, and still today, they tell you the purpose of the program is to put you in jail, to incarcerate you, to, for you to end up in a mental hospital, uh, homeless, or for you to kill yourself, suicide. Suicide is, was, and, the, and that statement that I just said, it has always been saturated in all the social media profiles saturated the purpose of it is to have you kill yourself the purpose of it is to end up homeless um they beam images of me being homeless into my head all the time they beam horrible scenarios into my mind all the time using the, the technology about the google patents that i'm gonna mention to you actually i just might as well do it now i don't even think this will come up ever but i don't even think that anybody of substance will actually hear this so it doesn't matter um, but um, Google patents, um, and I, I'm just going to get back to November 2019 and the chronological events happening as soon as I go through this. But I'm kind of explaining um, some of the, the, the facets of gang stalking. So um, sound is induced in the head of a person by radiating the head with microwaves. That's patent Google patent number US 4877027A forward slash EN apparatus and method for remotely monitoring and altering brain waves. That's patent number US 395113. A method and apparatus for simulation of hearing in mammals. Patent number US 4858612. Uh, nervous system manipulation by electromagnetic fields from monitors like TVs, your smart TVs, your computer, your phone. That's patent number US 6506148. Subliminal Acoustic Manipulation of Nervous Systems, patent number US 6017302. A Silent Communications System, US 5159703. This is something that on the gang stalking profiles, the perps when they talk to each other, it's called synthetic telep telepathy, by the way. Um, another uh, predictive programming or directed media reference to this is Star Trek, uh, the Star Trek episode where the doctor um, visits these genetically enhanced kids and she starts getting old, but Dr. Pulaski, um, the kids are genetically modified and they can, uh, they have synthetic telepathy or they have real telepathy because they've been genetically modified to have that ability, which the government, um, has been doing that since decades ago, decades ago, human beings have been created for the, for, to do this. So anyways, that was what, a silent communication system in a method for remotely determining information relating to a person's emotional state patent number us 5507291 um, uh, an object of the invention to provide a novel technique for the intelligible encoding of signals a related object is to provide for the intelligible encoding of speech us patent number uh, 6587729 um, now when you look up these patents i don't even know if they're going to show up but if they do these were patented back in the 80s, 60s, 70s, 90s, a long time ago. In fact, and remember, these are patent numbers that are out there that don't really kind of speak to exactly what's really happening. Um, just think of it this way and keep, what I'm about to say is very important. Whatever technology that is out there on the news, in the articles, in whatever, public arena it is just add decades of advancement to it decades okay so things like smart dust so much to google if you google smart dust it has the ability it's it's the it's the size of a speck of dust obviously you can be in you can inhale those pieces they're in our food um, they're in your body um, and and if you google it you'll see there's a lot of articles on it um, quote unquote reputable articles although they although they own all of the uh, media and that's just one item what about nan nanites uh, microscopic uh, um, drones um, you know the little um, insect my, uh, um, um, mosquito or ant um, spy insects things like that they exist they go to go online and google them again then you add 
20, 30, 40, 50 years of advancement to that. Classified technology is beyond your imagination. It's beyond my imagining. I've only seen a glimpse of it. And, um, and when I get to what they can really do in terms of manipulating scenarios and situations, um, you won't believe me. You, you, well, you probably don't believe me already. You think I'm crazy. But, um, uh, but insects, oh gosh, insects, animals, um, they can spy on you with, you know, spiders and ants. And I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Um, if you if you do the research though, and you see that there are mosquitoes that have been built that are the size of a mos- tinier, like tiny, that have little antenna on them that have the ability to surveil, um, then if that exists, and you will see that that exists when you Google it, I've put them on my Facebook page, I've put them on Twitter. So if you want to go to Twitter, then and you know that the government um, is hiding their most uh, advanced technology, then you put that two and two together, you deduce, you're, you're just using logic, you're not leaping, making, um, you know, these, these, you're not creating these ideas in your head that seem so far out, they can't, it can't be possible. Smart dust exists. Nanites that have they've been talking about for decades already exist. Um, you know, these little tiny, almost microscopic, scropic, micro, microscopic insects that exist, um, that can surveil and have, um, microbes or uh, na- nanoprobes or whatever in their uh, surgically you know inserted into their, the little heads of the um, the insects exist you could go google it then you and then you add you know decades and decades worth of more advancement um, and the idea um, that the, the government hides this from you then it's not too far-fetched to believe what I'm saying especially since I have seen the things that I have seen um, I've seen when they want to uh, scare me, they've sent, um, okay, so this is going to sound a little crazy. They send insects, um, sp- specifically spiders. They know I'm afraid of spiders. So they've had spiders, um, when I was in bed, crawl over my laptop screen. And um, at the time when it first happened, I was I screamed and I didn't realize that it was them. But now I know it's them because it's ha- every time I do something they don't like, which is like curse God. When I say fuck God, sorry, if you're religious, I'm sorry for you. When I say fuck God, or if I say fuck Allah, or if I say um, fuck, um, what's the other one? Oh, uh, uh, Yahweh. That's the Jewish God, the word for Jewish God. If I do that, they really don't like that, or they pretend that they don't like that. Um, something bad will happen to me. Um, they use a, a spider, or they use, um, they once had a mouse come into my house. Um, I've never, have you had, ha- ever had a mouse in your home? Well, if you're in New York, maybe but here no and when they do have these these um these animals these creatures you know it could be mosquito oh i've had the mosquito come in into acting funny they act bizarre they don't act like an animal or insect would act okay um there's too many too many examples to go into each one suffice it to say they do not act like typical insects would act um, you know, the mosquito that came into my house at one time, it, it flew around and flew away from me almost like it was, uh, it knew where I would look and how I would try to get it. Um, I know that sounds crazy. I even, I, I posted this on my Twitter about how mosquitoes seem to be getting smarter. I posted that last year before I realized that gang stalking was happening in my life. And the spiders, they will, um, what will happen is I'll be, I'll go somewhere and part of gang stalking is it's it's all set up almost like think of like a a Broadway play you know and you know stage left stage right once you walk in and they say action that's when something it happens so once I woke I walked into the bathroom to brush my teeth and as I started brushing my teeth from behind me behind a um, a bathroom um, table came into view it wasn't in in view came into view as i was looking in the mirror a black spider a black big big spider started crawling up the wall but only as i got in there and only when i um uh, started looking that happened in my car when i mean if you're driving you're paying attention to the road right and you're looking right you're looking left i drive a stick shift you're not gonna be paying attention it might not you might miss something but as soon as i came to a stop and looked a certain direction out of my windshield the spider came up and um, in my lane of view. Um, same thing with this, so many other examples. I'm not going to go into them, but like I said, they sent a mouse. Um, 
uh, even things like gnats, um, they have control over these items. They have control over everything, okay? They have control over you. They can make you do whatever they want. They, they could have control over everyone and everyone's destiny. Pausing. They have control over you and everyone's destiny. There is no more free will anymore. It is controlled by our psycho, selfish, greedy, chauvinistic, racist, white males and I'm gonna pause there because we're already let me let me look we're at um, 45 minutes and then I'm gonna go to part two but I'm gonna try to pick up on the chronological order again November 29th